Okay, another day, another Bamboo Lab printer. And this one, we, we knew this was coming. There has been leaked documents and whatnot. So we kind of knew this machine was coming, but unlike the A1, there's been no massive hype train for this. There wasn't weeks of teasing details. And then as soon as the embargo dropped, 20 something YouTubers put out a video. This just kind of came out. Here you go, Bamboo Lab X1E. It looks very familiar. So we're gonna go over what Bamboo is showing here and what I think of this machine. So the X1E, people have been clamoring for a larger Bamboo printer. And when they started teasing the A1, people were hoping for that large format. It turns out it was basically a Prusa Mini with an MMU type setup. So X1E, this name's been floating around for a little bit now. Extended? No, um, I think either engineering or maybe just ethernet. We'll get to that in a minute. So this is the new X1E and the first thing they're touting with this machine, enhanced and more connection options. Yes, so for those that have never used a Bamboo Lab machine, they, they have Wi-Fi. That's it. You have to connect via Wi-Fi. Uh, the setup, if I remember correctly, you have to download an app to your phone and you pretty much have an almost always online requirement with the printer, at least if you want to use it fully. Uh, with the app, if you want to track the progress of a print through the webcam built in over the internet, you need to sign on to their cloud service. Even updating the printer, you cannot update a bamboo printer without an internet connection. You don't have the option of an SD card or USB up Upgrade. Now, the X1E seems to be kind of going for a specific market, and this is a market that Bamboo, by their current design choices, have completely locked themselves out of, and that is pretty much enterprise. So the current Bamboo Lab printers, they support just standard WPA2 Wi-Fi, and the X1E supports enterprise authentication Wi-Fi. Maybe that's what the E stands for, it's enterprise. They now have all these other protocols here for Wi-Fi. I'm not an enterprise tech person, so I, I'm not 100% sure what all these mean, but hey, better security, that's always good to have. Also, ethernet. Yes, ethernet. Now, granted, it's only 100 megabit, we'll talk about that later, but it does have ethernet. So one thing that a lot of people in certain fields were harping on Bamboo was their machines did not meet minimum security requirements to actually run in a lot of facilities. If you did anything that involved ITAR, International Trades and Arms Regulation, or anything where if your company developed something that you just do not want that accidentally leaking out, the Bamboo Lab machines were a massive security risk. Their, their requirement for a cloud service, having to connect to a, a server somewhere. The cloud is just a computer in somebody else's house. So these machines were security risks in a lot of different businesses, a lot of business is their IT departments would not allow something like this to exist. So they locked themselves out of that market entirely. Now they have fully functional uh, off the cloud function, I guess. The X1E can operate independently without a connection to the Bamboo cloud service, fully functional within your local network. Now, I don't see anything about updating the software. I'm hoping it, it's possible, it would, make the most sense uh, but the current machines can't be updated unless they connect to the cloud so hopefully they change that and then also they change that with this machine can you go back to your existing machines and allow users to update their firmware without having to connect to the cloud so heavy duty air filtration so effective particle uh, effectively filter particulates and vocs generated by 3d printing so that they've got this is new they've got a g3 pre-filter h12 hepa filter high quality coconut shell activated carbon filter to provide optimal air filtration. Uh, carbon filter, um, activated carbon is a consumable. You will have to replace that though regularly. Enhanced filtration can effectively reduce excess odors and particulates when printing in less ventilated environments. So if I'm not mistaken, the standard bamboo x one thi I think comes with a little filter that's replaceable. I've never really bothered with it. Uh, but this looks, you know, this is enterprise. This is office. We're gonna have a much better filter in it. Active heating and controlled chamber test temps, reduce warping, improve layer bonding. So current bamboos, they get in the forties. I think mine's seen 50, but mine's in a garage, which in the summer gets pretty hot. So I can't really go off the temperatures it shows because it's in a non-standard environment, but they're saying they can now get up to 60 C or with a, with a chamber heater. My Vorons with their, just their heated bed and acrylic frame can push 60 C on a good day. 
without an active chamber heater. And it, it's simply because of the way the machine's designed. It leaks like a sieve. If you flip your machine around, you've got a massive hole in the back for the poop chute. There's no, did they put a flap on it? I don't know, there's no pictures. And I haven't seen any, nobody has this machine, so we don't know. Also, the electronics compartment isn't fully separated from the print volume. There's a big hole in the back where the lead screw is for the bed. So, this machine is not an, uh, an airtight machine. It's not an insulated machine. So this heater is gonna be dumping heat into a system that's just gonna leak heat, which means this heater is gonna have to run a lot, which means you're gonna get a pretty good power bill. But hey, it, it's there now for those that need to print a little bit higher temp stuff. Now the, the nozzle has also taken a bump in temperature. So the, the nozzle can reach 320 C now, uh, more heat for higher temperature materials. So you got your, your some nylons and whatnot. Now here's the thing, the current hot end is an all metal hot end. I remember correctly from what it, I've seen looking at their hot end, the only thing keeping it from getting to 320 C is the sock because those are usually only rated to about 300 C. Did they just get a different sock material? It, it, because the actual current hot ends are all metal and they can, reached these temperatures already. It's just the sock can't, so they rate it to 300 C. So I'm wondering what they actually changed there. To, is it just a different sock material or do they just forego the sock altogether to get this 320 C? High-speed corks, why this hasn't changed. This is gonna be exactly what they already have. This is gonna be exactly what they already have. AI failure, this is gonna be exactly what they already have on their current machine. So this stuff isn't new. This is this is all what they currently have. Supports the AMS system. So again, nothing new. So here's the machine. So here is comparing the X1E to the X1 Carbon. They are pretty much the same physical machine. You could see that big hole in the back there that that's gonna leak air through the poop chute, which is still there. They now have a, a, a warning sticker on the motor though. That's new. Uh, touch screens look the same. So I'm assuming these are running the same controller boards as well, but we now have uh, WPA2 enterprise options for Wi-Fi instead of just none. So advertising your new machine with the fact that your current machine is lacking in security is bold move cotton. Uh, Ethernet, yay, Ethernet, it's hundred megabits, which let's be honest, you're really only transferring uh, STLs and a webcam feed, hundred megabits is fine. It's fine. I, you don't need a thousand megabit. You want, it's it's a twenty four hour print. Transferring the file thirty seconds faster isn't going to change much. So whatever. But it is nice to see they finally have Ethernet. I really wish all the machines had Ethernet, but you know it's Bamboo's machine. Uh, supported filaments, the same, just superior because the chamber can get a little bit hotter and the hot end can get a little bit hotter. Uh, heating, active chamber tier is now a thing. The power build difference between these two machines is gonna be interesting if you're running this chamber at 60C. So there's that. We have much better filters because the standard one just comes with coal-based pellets, which I don't think I've ever bothered to change. Whereas the new one, X1E has a much better filter system. So if you're running this in the office with printing stuff that stinks, eh, probably good to have. Um, network controls, so and we now have ethernet. Uh, network kill switch. This is something that Prusa uh, did first and did right where their current machines, the, the Mark IV has optional Wi-Fi. You can actually just remove the Wi-Fi module. So I'm, I'm assuming this is somewhat of the same thing here because on the existing machines, you, you can't actually fully disable the Wi-Fi. You can go into the software and change it, but the chip's still there and it's still doing its thing. So that actually doesn't meet certain requirements for security in certain places. 802.1X network access control. I'm not entirely sure what this means because you can already control the existing machines over the internet. And to be fair, the existing machines do have a LAN only mode, but it's it's not quite the same as what they're offering here. You, you still need to connect to the internet to update the machines and if you wanna use all the features. So the tool head, uh, pretty much exactly the same, only you can get a 20 degrees Celsius hotter. Uh, the bed is the exact same bed. The only difference is it has a smooth PI plate versus these options here. Um, smooth PI for certain materials makes a bit of sense. Speeds and feeds are gonna be the exact same. It has the same sensor, same not LiDAR, LiDAR, uh, same camera and the physical dimensions. The new machine is heavier for $2,500 US. So if I'm not mistaken, the stock X1, not the combo, the stock X1 is 1200 US. So that's what? So $1,300 more than a standard X1C. There's no AMS. The AMS is an option. This is before tax as well. Um, so you're basically paying over a grand more for uh, a chamber heater that's gonna have to run nonstop because you're gonna constantly leak air. Uh, some better 
connectivity and the ability to run it in fully LAN only mode and meet some requirements for certain businesses. This is an enterprise product. Um, with that with that price premium, that's an enterprise product. So unfortunately, there's no reviews on this machine. They didn't do the thing with the A1 where they uh, flooded the market with you know weeks of teasing and then a bunch of reviewers got them. I think this machine is definitely gonna be aimed at a few of their business clients. I'm, I'm sure there are some businesses that are running print farms of X1s or P1Ss, and so they've been kind of asking for this machine. I, I, I know a YouTuber who does ITAR stuff with their business, that this machine would kind of fit their bill. Now, granted, when it comes to internet security, you have to take you know what the company's doing now and what they've done in the past and take that into account. Bamboo has not been the greatest when it comes to security on their machines and some of the way they've implemented things. There's There's been a lot of, we'll go ahead and fix that now that that's known uh, with Bamboo in the past, but it is what it is. So yeah, so that's the, uh, I guess the first look we're gonna see at the Bamboo Lab X1E. Um, Enterprise Engineering Ethernet. Maybe the E stands for Ethernet. So let me know your comments and your thoughts on this machine below. Do you think you'll buy this machine? Who do you think this machine is for? And uh, are you disappointed it's not a large format machine? Because I know a lot of you uh, that were clamoring for a large format bamboo printer are probably not happy right now. So if you want to see more content like this, I think I'm going to do more uh, quick little talking head videos like this. Uh, also, let me know about that in the comments below. Don't forget to like that smash button on the way out and be sure to be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on more content in the future. Cheers.